Today in the Cheapo Spotlight, the all new Rushoi 202 digital multimeter, non-auto ranging. Let's take a look. For those of you in the know, the Rushoi brand is also the same creators that do Victor. Rushoi definitely has that Victor look to it. You can tell there's a similarity. Once again, it is uh, designed by the same company that puts out the Victor line of multimeters. Has that uh, definite Huey orange going on. Um, I have to say, actually, the, the boot on the Rishoi is nicer than what I've seen from Victor's of late. It's just a little more supple, uh, a little uh, nicer in the hand. Multimeter itself is powered by one 9-volt battery, and you can see we have that nice brass threaded insert. Excellent. The 202 did not ship in a box, strictly in a bubble wrap piece of plastic. Uh, no instructions, and unfortunately, um, yeah, that's it, that's all. Now, it did ship with the set of leads. The leads are very generic in nature. They are rated for 10 amps, but there is no voltage rating on there as well. It does have that CE uh, label, but that really doesn't mean much uh, in this day and age. Fit and finish is okay for these leads. Um, probably a step up from the generic leads that normally uh, these cheapos ship with. Uh, that being said, uh, you know, you want to keep it on the low voltage side if you're going to use these test leads for sure. Off position at midnight. Volts AC up to 500 volts. Milliamps from 2 milliamps up to 200. High current unfused up to 10 amps. Signal generator. Resistance up to 200 mega ohm. Volts DC from 200 millivolts up to 500 volts. At the top left, we have our standard touch hold and on the right hand side is our backlight button. Finally, at the bottom on the left, we have our high current 10 amp input, common in the middle and our signal generator, milliamp volts, diode and resistance. Let's turn the meter on, shall we? Oh yeah, nice, big, crisp LCD digits. I like it, I like it a lot. It's a small meter. In fact, they call it a palm size meter, but you know what? The display is not small at all. Quite nice, quite contrasty. Hey, that's a 10 out of 10. Hey, remember I was talking about that neat feature? We'll check it out. Okay, it's a backlight. I know, nothing special. Well, it's okay, but is it really that cool? Check this out. Off. On, yeah, that's right, that backlight will stay on indefinitely until you turn it off. Cool, so you can use your meter, turn it off, come back a week later, turn it back on, and guess what? The backlight is still on. Awesome. Starting off with our DC accuracy test, 2.50 volts. Spot on, Mr. Accurate Rushui, Rushui. Excellent. Alrighty, let's take it to the next one. Should be looking at five volts even, and there we are, five volts even, Steven, loving it. 7.50 volts is what we wanna see, and spot on, 7.50 volts. Remember, this only has 2,000 counts resolution, but beauty, wow, that is super accurate thus far. Finally, wanna look at 10 volts, and oh yes, 10 volts, spot on, even Steven. Hey, this little sucker is accurate. Loving it. All right, I'm gonna take a look at the milliamps right now, sitting at 20 milliamps. And so far, so good. Let's bring it down. 19 milliamps even, and oh yeah, looking good. In fact, we're gonna switch it over to our low milliamp mode. And there's the resolution looking perfect. Take it down again, again, 18 milliamps. 18.08 coming up on the Rushoi, aka Victor. So for all you Victor fans, remember this is a designed, uh, produced uh, multimeter by Victor. All right, 14 milliamps and 14.06. Oh, so nice. Down, down, down. Let's get 10 milliamps, even Steven. 10.003, all right. How low can you go? Well, just try me. I'm gonna hit two milliamps. Let's do two milliamps even. And wow, 1.98, fairly close. One milliamp coming up as 0.97. And can we get any lower than that? 0 0.50, 0 0.47, 0 0.48, 0 0.49, 0 0.49, 0 0.49, 0 0.49, 0 0.49, 0 0.49, 0 0.49, 0 0.49, 0 0.49, 0 0.49, 0 0.49, 0 
0.10 milliamp coming up as 0 0.06 so we're just losing a tad bit of that accuracy on the lower end of the milliamp spectrum but all in all hey accuracy wise this little meter rocks finally looking at high current 6.1 amps and yeah no worries there Finally, AC voltage, 121 volts. AC looking good, looking so, so good. Already continuity is next. Here we go, three, two, one, default leads. Wow, that's pretty loud. Loud, it's scratchy, not really latched. Scratchy, but fast. Hey, you know what? I like it. Pro Masters, here we go. Wow, even just a tad faster. Love it, love it. Eighty-six point three decibels, maximum output in continuity. That's loud. Well, so far, i got to say this little Rushoi is impressive. Wow. Good job, Victor. Okay, in diode mode, well, LED mode now. Here we go. Starting off with the green LED. And yes, it is lit. And we do, we did have a display, but now it's gone. And over to the yellow LED, yes, it is lit. The red lit. The blue LED, nothing white LED, nothing. So we have a momentary voltage drop, but then it just disappears. But we can light three out of the five LEDs. Yeah, well, you know what, I'll give a C. Give a C. And of course, standard diode, no worries here. Output voltage in diode mode, 2.5 volts. Just not enough. Finally sitting resistance mode around nine mega ohm right now. Coming up at about 9.0, pretty close. Definitely within spec. Let's take it up to 7 mega ohm. So it's slow in resistance mode. You can see, wow, it takes a while. Oh, that's too bad. Let's bring it down to 4 mega ohm. Ooh, that is slow. Yeah. So if you do a lot of uh, resistance testing, you might want to pass on this guy. 2 mega ohm. Well, it's accurate, but it is slow. One mega ohm, yeah, okay, well, I think I've seen enough. It's high voltage time, three, two, one, run. And there we go, over a thousand volts. Bringing it back down one more time. And yeah, we're not getting any audible alarm or beep indicating that we are in high voltage mode. No high voltage annunciators, but uh, hey, we're not getting any smoke either. Good stuff. Alrighty, it's teardown time. Starting off with the reverse side, you can see there's our standard little piezo. Um, well, not that small, actually. Pretty good size for a smaller meter, but uh, yeah, no shielding. And hey, you know what? I've had so many requests, been inundated with people saying, do us a do I DIY on multimeter shielding. Guess what? It's gonna come up. It's coming up. I will have that video out, hopefully early next month. Um, stay tuned for that. Main IC itself is cobbed, and uh, we have a high powered capacitor. Really, that's about it. Not a lot of bells and whistles on this meter. There's no flashlight, there's no um, NCV. It is bare bones essential, but you know what? That's not always a bad thing. All right, starting off with those input jacks. They are of the split variety once again. It's a good, clean looking PCB, no flux. You know, sometimes you can open up and it is like Pandora's box. It is just a disaster. But overall here, it's really nice and clean and hey, I like it. Now this is an unfused high current uh, meter. So all we have is that current shunt uh, and it's pretty small one at that. So yeah, I wanna be careful with this on anything high voltage or high current. Uh, moving down the line, we have our standard 250 volt, 200 millimeter glass fuse. And there's our one tiny, tiny little PTC that is on the voltage side. We have a diode clamp over here and uh, let's take it up a notch. Finally, on the reverse side of the PCB, there are our nice selector switch tracks. Hey, those look gold plated, very, very clean. Hey, I like it. They're not too thin either. All in all, uh, yeah, rather impressive for a cheapie. 
and um, there is those pads for the uh, selector switch itself uh, nicely done and this is once again a standard spring with the balls um, yeah so that's going to definitely help uh, for the long term good stuff we have our zebra strip here for the display and here at the top we have our two uh, soft touch buttons really not much else going on all in all looking good okay gonna put it all back together come back with my closing thoughts closing thoughts for the Rushoi 202 hey you know overall it's not a bad meter um you know there was a couple of shortfalls that it's really too bad that resistance was really painfully slow so if you do a lot of resistance testing you want to pass this one by also uh, in terms of leds eh, you know not outputting enough voltage really to be that useful so if that's your thing, uh, once again, walk on by. But if you want a little cheapo that is very accurate, you know what, this is a great, great bargain. And I don't want to forget about that backlight. Wow, that doesn't happen every day, does it? Turn it on and it stays on indefinitely until you turn it off. Even when you turn the meter off, turn it back on, you're still in business. Illumination in the cheapo nation, courtesy of the 202. Thank you for listening. It's a great looking little meter, has that uh, nice overall uh, look and feel. Attention to detail is pretty decent. And hey, for 10, 15 bucks, you know what? You could do a lot worse. The Rishoy 202 gets a solid three out of five stars. Thanks for watching this review, everybody. Hey, lots of good stuff coming up in the next few weeks. Till the next one, keep on testing.